G'day everyone, Professor Shoelace here with another shoelacing tutorial and this one is about over under lacing in fact the same method that appears here on my t-shirt now on a real shoe you can see the over crossovers and the under crossovers that give this lacing its name here it is on the website um, which if I animate you'll see why it gets the name because you've got an over, under, over under, over, and under crossovers. Now, let's see how that's laced using a real shoe. This shoe has six pairs of eyelets, which is an even number of eyelet pairs. So I've started across the outside and I've fed in through the bottom eyelet pairs. If you have a shoe with seven pairs of eyelets, or any odd number, you would instead start across the inside and feed out through the bottom eyelet pairs. Now, having started correctly, create your first crossover and this is an under crossover so we feed out through the next eyelet pair crossover again this time it's on the outside so we feed in through the next eyelet pair crossover again on the inside feed out through the next eyelet pair and you just keep following that method cross over on the outside and feed in again now over under lacing is a very simple variation of the most basic crisscross lacing which follows the same sort of diagonal path with the exception that the laces don't run over the edges of the shoe and thus it produces a bit of friction and the second thing I like about this is that it's very easy to get your fingers under these crossovers. See the ones that are on the outside? So it's easier to pull the lacing tight. When you're finished, tie it off with your shoelace knot. I'm using the world's fastest shoelace knot there. And that's it. Over under lacing. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you want more information, go to Ian's shoelace site.